Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we made our way into the Great Boggly Tree, uh, this time we're gonna be getting through it for the most part. Uh, so we've got 11 punies so far, we need way more than that in order to actually get through the entire tree, but we will be getting more as we go along. Uh, first up, we're gonna want to get our punies across this gap. If you saw the previous video, you know that Goombella will spoil the solution to the puzzle. Uh, if we ask her about it, so I'm not going to ask her about it. Although I can remember what she said, fortunately. Uh, basically the trick is, we want to get the punies to the other side, so we're going to get them all corralled together like this using the orb. We can just jump across as you can see, but the punies cannot. Then we're going to have Madame Flurry. Just give him a little push like this. I think we want to put the orb on the other side, actually. Hang on. I can do that. There we go. Okay, now they're trying to go that way, so the orb will... Yeah, that'll work better. It's a little bit fiddly. <laughs> um, we can do it. We can we can make this work. Oops. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Over here. Okay, I think they're all in this correct area now. Yes. So yeah, just crawling the punies across the gap like that. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's doable. Uh, we haven't used Flurry in battle yet, so we might keep her out for a little while. She has Body Slam and Gale Force. Flurry is a cloud spirit who can control the wind. Press and hold X to blast out mighty wind and blow things away. Blast blow blasts the enemies to make their heads spin. Punch down on an enemy from above. Attack all enemies with a powerful gust of wind. Yeah, Flurry's Pretty decent as a combatant. Not combatant, a fighter. <laughs> uh, we might, we might give her a try. She's not my favorite character in this game. That would be Vivian, obviously. <laughs> okay, we do need some flurry help. No, sorry, the other one, Goombella again, so that we can tackle this new enemy type. Uh, left. There we go. See, there's a little, like, you can use the D-pad to pick those four things, but I couldn't remember any of them, so... <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. How much health do these guys have? Jeez. Well, I guess I've had to find out. Spider. Ick! They gross me out! Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Ew. Besides its normal attacks, it might spit 3 web wads at you consecutively. You'd better have good timing if you want to guard against its attacks. It also says here that the punies can't stand piders, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things makes punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. Okay, uh, how much is four damage, I think? We better to go with a multi-bound. Like that. I definitely need to rank up Goombella and get some more abilities for her because she's proving to be out quite a lot because I'm insisting on tattling on everything. There we go. You got six star points. 
I can't remember what we last upgraded with star points, so I'm not sure what it is we'll be doing next. Okay, I think some of the punies maybe fell down, which is why we have 8 out of 11 now. Uh, so when we actually go down there, we should just join up with them and it should be fine. Okay, there's a piranha plant. Pretty sure we've already met these guys, so I might quickly switch to coops because coops can damage them. Uh, you can't jump on them because of their teeth, uh, which is why they cannot be damaged uh, by uh, Gimbella, who head bonks on top of things. Oop. We don't really have an easy way to take out Piders in more than quite a few turns. It's a bit frustrating. Because they have 5 health, we can do roughly 4. Uh, with our two characters. We'll get more abilities as we go, but for now it's a bit weak. You got five star points! Yeah, we've got a little bit of health, which is nice. Yeah, there are, there are said lesser opportunities. They fell down here, that's what I thought. Yeah, that should help us out a little bit. We whack the power- oh no, there's so many. Uh, I'm wondering if I want to get Flurry out and try Gale Force so we hit everyone. Flurry. Yeah, I don't know how to use this ability. Um, get rid of a Pyder. I don't know what the timing is for Flurry's attack, it's very weird. Might just give it another try, so we'll have Mario just smash this piranha. <sighs> and I'll mess it up. Okay. I still don't get it. Yeah, I didn't think quite Camel would hit up higher because of the way they're positioned. Uh, yeah, you just switch back to Coops. Not your day. Oh, jeez. Mario's in danger. My attacks are sometimes missing. And now I want Goombella instead of Coops. Hmm. I'm not doing well this particular battle. Let's just get rid of this guy nice and quick. There we go. We got 12 star points. I was hoping to drop some hearts as well, but that's okay, I guess. The punies are totally afraid of these piders. When a pider drops, the punies completely lose it and bolt in every direction. You're gonna have to defeat any piders near the path you want to lead the punies along. Yeah, it's basically it's a forced battle with the piders to get through, but you. But this game doesn't really do force battles that much. <laughs> and you can still first strike them, which is nice. Mario, did you see it? That was a Jabi. Based on what Puniper said, they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. 
But I used to get along with Jabble. He's of the Jobby tribe. I wonder if even Jabble is my enemy now. I hope not. Uh, I was looking for gear, but what to? Okay, I want that. Um, can I get it? I need like a new ability or something I don't have yet. Coops won't work because... Oh no, there we go. Yeah, I use Coops to create this block and I can hit that and get... Damage dodge P. Cut damage by 1 HP with a guard action command. Ally. Okay, so what this does... Um, do you already have regular damage dodge? Yeah, I do. So this this makes it when Mario blocks something with a guard action command, it blocks by one more point, which is good. This is when the partner does it. So when a partner blocks uh, using using their guard action command, it will do two defense instead of one, which is good. Um, I can't really afford to use either of these right now. I'm guessing I want to get more BP next time I level up. Uh, but yeah, that they're, they're good things. We're gonna have to go down here. Uh. Find all these punies we've lost. Yeah, we'll have to take out those piders to actually get through here properly. Ah, peace. Oh, hello, what's happening here? You can see, like, the corner there? Uh... Yep. Here we go. Oh, um... A shop. Uh, let me see... How do you, bud? I'm betting this is your first time visiting my shop. Am I right or am I right? Right, then let me give you my official shop point breakdown for first timers. You earn one shop point for each item you buy. Easy so far, am I right? Now, as you build up points, you get rewarded with cool prizes, including rare items. Different stores have different prizes, so keep your eyes peeled, okay? And that, bud, is all I gotta say about that. Wanna hear all that again? No, I'm good. Well, alrighty then. Go on and shop, sell or store stuff, bud. Yeah, I've been to a shop before, I think, but I haven't actually bought, like, uh, talked to the shopkeeper before, which is why they explained it. If I'd gone to the shop back in, um, Edelberg, then the same thing would have happened. Uh, hello. The shop is hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any idea? This is a shop run by a puny named Pungent. I wonder if there are any rare items. That's Pungry of the punies. He seems to be friends with Pungent, as far as I can tell. He makes a living as a mover in the pit of 100 trials. It's dangerous work, but I guess it must pay well. That's Pungent, the manager of this shop. A weird place for a shop, if you ask me. But since we're here, I guess we could buy something. Oh, here are the... This is the prizes you get for using, getting, um, shop points. There's some good stuff in there. Um, altar shrooms and jam and jellies are very good items and they're very rare, so it's nice to be able to get them this way. I think gold bars are just vendor trash, basically. You sell them for coin. Recall correctly. Uh, HP sapper is good. Uh, Ice storm is good too. Hmm. Now I might just hit this block. And then head on. Thank you. Okay, there should be two more punies out here somewhere that I've misplaced. Are they behind that behind here? Can they be behind there? I don't really know. Pew pew pew. Where have they ended up? Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's a 10 Jabby squadron. Uh, let's get them. Come on, Mario. Uh, I think we need to have at least 11 punies to get through there. Uh, so that we can overwhelm them with overwhelm their numbers. But we'll have to come back once we've found the ones I've misplaced. 
Uh, where did they go? Okay, a Thunder Rage will take out all of these guys in one go. I don't know if I want to use it up. Thunder Rage is not a very common item. Maybe the Fire Flower and then a couple of Headbonks? and he's back. Uh, let's try taking on the Jarbies, now we have all 11 of them. Uh, although I think we do want to go this way. So let's just keep going this way for the moment and see what's over here. Okay, now there's four of them. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm definitely supposed to be able to use Flurry's move, but I don't know how it works. Um, okay, that's Tremor. That damages all enemies, not just grounded enemies, so... Oops. Dang it. Messed up the action command. <sighs> yeah, I think I need to figure out how to work Flurry's move. Let's get her out. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Flurry. Gale Force. Okay, with perfect timing. Okay, it still wasn't very good, but I think I got the timing down that time. Hey, that's how Body Slam works. That move is weird. I don't think I used Flurry much in my previous playthroughs as a combat character. The moves are very strange. And you know, I wanted to tattle on everything. is all gone. I'm trying to save. Why not? There we go. Okay, so the others should... Yeah, they're just over there. Join my squad. There we go. Pretty sure there wasn't another spider here. Yeah, cool. Battle in this room. We're inside the great tree. This area has a totally whacked up topography. You know, I think Punio said something about a hidden shop somewhere in this area. If you need any items, we should try to find it, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, 
okay, there's clearly a lot more of them here, so I probably can't get through here yet. Everyone, it's the Jarbies! The 100 Jarby Squadron. Uh, charge? Come on, Mario. I definitely can't get through here. Yeah, there's just way too many of them. Oh, that was awful. They walked all over us. We have to regroup and try again. Yeah, we can't do that room yet, but we can do the one on the other side. Maybe we're outnumbered. We might not be able to pull this off. Yeah, but if we go to the other side, well, there's just 10 of them, we should be fine because we have 11. Which is more than 10. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly! Wow, we did it! We defeated every last Jabi here! Now we have to destroy the Jabi Hive Fortress! There we go, now we can go through. Hey, there's water running through the inside of the Great Tree! You don't think, could this be how the tree carries nutrients from root to limb? You know, nature is just about the coolest thing ever. A chest. You got a blue key. A key that opens the blue cell door. Yes, with this key we should all open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. Uh, we can't do anything with this yet. Yep, we'll head back. We'll never come back and that's that and what's going to happen to us and... Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding on to so, so, so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punia will return. Yep, we got the key. Let's go. Let's go open the blue. Uh, was it this pipe? Was this bad? Oh, hey, a shine sprite. I'd like that. I can just drop down to get it. Oh, I remember. What you got to do here? Um, you can see a plane panel hiding under there. So what you got to do is get rid of this, like so. And you can use the flame panel. Uh, we already read this. You can use the other flame panel. <laughs> there we go. You got a shine sprite. Okay, just grab the punies. Get back in our squad, y'all. Okay, um, what am I doing? Right, okay, we have to keep going back this way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, we go this way. Up the next pipe. We basically have to get back to where the cells are. So, you know, standard backtracking. I think we can leave the punies here while we do this. You just stay here for now. Oh, 
Because we do need them on that side, so if we just leave them there, it should save a little time. Quite a lot of walking to get through here. Okay, here we go. Petuni, I'm back! We brought the key! We're opening the cell right now! Okay, I don't know how you got back, but hello. The key. Big brother! Little Petuni, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favourite, aren't they, big brother? But... Well, this one kind of got dried out. Oh, nasty. Big brother! It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not... Ugh, not at all. Mm -mm, delicious. Very... Uh, <laughs> very... Ugh. Yummy. Big brother? You okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. Oh, Hey, quit it, Punio. Come on, don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Oh, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, it was nothing. Adorable siblings. 90 Punis have joined your party. Now there are 101. Dalmatians. Okay, so now we have 91 punies with us. If we go back and get the others, we will have 101. Uh, and we can take them to uh, that other gate we needed to get through. Oh, I thought just dropping off would be a bit faster, but no, you gotta go through the pipe or they don't know where you're going. Hey, dorks, this way. Down the pipe. Down the other pipe. So yeah, we've got to get all 101 peonies across that other jar B base so that we can get them through. So we want to do a little more of this. Oh yeah, we've got to put the stone over here as well. There we go. As I mentioned, this this is a little bit janky, but it, it's okay. Not too bad. Mostly just a cute little gimmick. pop as you can have a little bit of a flutter jump. There we go. Okay, so 101 now on this side. Take the orb. And off we go. <laughs> How are we doing for time? Uh, we're getting on for about a half hour. Uh, I might I might just hit the save block down here once we take out these that 100 jobby bot. Uh it didn't take too long. Here we go, little punies. Here we go, down the pipe. 
Okay, we're back in the spot with, where the piders were, so all we gotta do is just take our wad around here, around here, around here, around here. <laughs> there we go. And we should still have 101. Yep, we do. And we should be well equipped to take out these guys. Because provided you have exactly one more in your army than they do, you will win. <laughs> That seems to be the, the moral here. Whoa, Nelly! I'm not sure I can actually do anything in this fight, apart from just like, wait for the unis to do the work. Oh, that was awful. They walked all over us. I have to regroup and try again. Maybe I did something wrong? Hmm. Definitely beat them next time. Yeah. Okay, I'll, t I'll try and see if I can actually contribute. Uh, maybe if I kick a shell around, that might help? I don't know. I had thought it was more or less scripted, but maybe there's something I'm supposed to do to make it a bit easier. I think that was, I think what I, whatever I just did, did help. It was like we're doing a bit better. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. What if I go in here and ask Gumbella for help? This must be the most wide open space inside the Great Tree, huh? The tree looks big from out there, but I lose all sense of dimension in here. I could totally get lost in here for like, days. Maybe flurry? I could try flurrying at them. I just- I did try to sort of hitting them with the hammer, that doesn't seem to do a whole lot. seem to daze them, actually. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do? Use Flurry? I don't remember having to do any of this, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was just scripted before, so I don't know if this is, like, something that the plus version changes. I thought it was just a text hack, but maybe it makes this more interesting? I don't know. Okay, I think we're doing fine this time. Yeah. Whoa, we beat them! We carried every last Jarby here! Now let's destroy the Jarby Hive Fortress. Our little little punies. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the save point and call out a video, I think. <sighs> so yeah, um that's part of the, the great tree being done. Uh we now have 101 punies instead of just eleven, and We've defeated a bunch of jobbies. Saving and save. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>